Hi, I'm Stephen Snowdy, the Chief Executive of Visioneering Technologies. Visioneering Technologies is a medical device company based in the United States, listed on the ASX under ticker symbol VTI. Visioneering Technologies is a contact lens company. We have developed and we now sell in several countries around the world contact lenses for two patient populations. The first patient population that is large with a high medical need for our contact lenses are people called presbyopes. Presbyopes are people over the age of 40 or 45 who have begun to lose their ability to see things up close. Our typical patient is somebody who wears contact lenses or has worn contact lenses throughout their life for clear distance vision, but now has a dual need over the age of 40 for being able to see things that are distance and being able to see things that are near. The other patient population that's large with high medical need that uses our lenses or prescribed our lenses are children with nearsightedness or pediatric myopia. Pediatric myopia is a global scourge. The percentage of children who have developed myopia or nearsightedness in most industrialized nations has doubled in the last 30 to 40 years. In the pediatric myopia patient, the nearsightedness is not the tragedy of the disease. The tragedy of the disease is that the nearsightedness gets worse and worse, and as the nearsightedness gets worse and worse, the child becomes exposed to a higher lifetime risk of blindness and other serious ocular diseases. So the important part for a child with nearsightedness is to stop the progression of the disease as early as possible. The addressable markets for presbyopia and pediatric myopia in the United States are, are very large. In the United States, there are 8 million people who are presbyopic over the age of 40 and in need of a vision solution, but already wearing contact lenses. We view these 8 million people who are already wearing contact lenses but have unsolved distance and near vision to be our low-hanging fruit. This population in the United States is worth about $3 billion of addressable market. Internationally, of course, there are many additional opportunities for a presbyopic product that solves the need for simultaneous clear distance and near vision. The population of children in the United States who are myopic and already wearing contact lenses is approximately 5 million children. This population in addressable market is worth about $2 billion in the United States alone, with large markets internationally still to be explored. Again, 80 to 90 percent of children in Asia are nearsighted and progressive and in need of a solution representing very large markets. China alone, we've estimated to be an $11 billion market. For the presbyopic patient who's already wearing contact lenses for distance and has a dual need for correcting their distance and near vision simultaneously, Visioneering's multifocal contact lens with our NeuroFocus Optics provides excellent simultaneous near and distance vision. This is a problem that other companies in the industry have had difficulty solving, that is, providing clear distance simultaneous with clear near vision. Visioneering Technologies Natural View Multifocal has been shown to provide simultaneously clear distance vision and near vision, a problem that existing multifocal contact lenses from competitive companies have had difficulty solving. Eye care professionals have been prescribing Visioneering Technologies Natural View Multifocal to children with the promise of slowing down the progression of myopia uh, in these children. What practitioners have shown with Visioneering Technologies Natural View Multifocal Lenses is that the progression of nearsightedness in children wearing our lenses is slowed by 90% compared to the rate of progression or worsening of their myopia prior to wearing Visioneering Technologies lenses. Visioneering Technologies also markets a product called Natural View Sphere. Sphere lenses are for the uh, correction of simple, uncomplicated distance vision problems. It's important that we sell this product because up to 80% of a practitioner's sales tend to be sphere lenses, and it's important just for Mindshare that we provide a very high quality product in this regard. Visioneering Technologies presents a very compelling investment thesis. We have $5 billion of addressable market in the United States between presbyopic patients and pediatric myopia patients, and with 80 to 90% of children in many of the industrialized Asian nations being myopic in need of a solution to slow down the worsening of their disease, we have tens of billions of dollars available outside the United States in addressable market. Our products are approved and already in sale in the U.S. 
Australia, New Zealand, and in parts of Europe. And in 2019, we'll be adding additional geographies uh, for sales of our lenses. In addition, Visionary Technologies products are covered by patents in the United States outside the United States. And we have strong momentum coming out of 2018 going into 2019. In 2018, we tripled our revenue over 2017 to $3.3 billion and finished up December of 2018 with both record monthly and weekly performance. In our development pipeline that investors can expect for 2019 are toric lenses for the correction of astigmatism and a revolutionary product for a very underserved patient, the patient who needs a multifocal lens uh, who is also astigmatic. That product is called the multifocal toric lens. Internationally, we can also look forward in 2019 to expansion into other parts of Europe, Canada, potentially Hong Kong and Singapore. In addition, Visionary Technologies is working on partnerships for other parts of Asia. 2018 was a transformational year for Visionary Technologies. We tripled our revenue, we expanded into different parts of the world. In 2019, we're very excited that we'll be launching new products, expanding even further into other parts of the world, potentially developing partnerships for uh, the very largest markets of Asia. This is a great time to become involved with Visionary.